Hello everyone, just got finished doing a little bit of shopping. Came across uh, what I think is a novel product here. It's a Bell & Howe Digital Talking Tire Gauge. Tire pressure is announced and displayed. Accurate reading in two seconds, weather resistant. So uh, pretty self-explanatory. I just push the red button there and it should um, announce the um, tire pressure. We'll also display it on the screen if you can see that because of the sun but yeah the screen there uh, should display the tire pressure as well let's see uh, I'm going to use batteries some type of batteries here okay so batteries included that's cool here's a look at the talking tire gauge out of the box I didn't have any instructions I did test it the battery does work I'm a little surprised because um I did buy this at a uh, thrift store, even though it was in the box. I don't know how old it is. I think uh, copyright showed something like 2012. Uh, so let's test it out for the first time. Let me show you the modes here. Just push the red button. PSI bar English. PSI English bar English so uh, bar is a different measurement that uh, I'm not going to be using I'm going to use the PSI um, I'm uh, I'm driving on Michelin Defenders here and I wanted to, I'm sure most people know this but uh, if you're wondering what your tire pressure maximum should be so for these tires you can see maybe you can see max pressure would be 50 psi on these tires um, i like to drive between 30 35 uh, psi in my tires front tires here so if i've got anywhere between 30 and 35 then i'm uh, i'm doing pretty well Try it out here. Okay, so I'm gonna go to I'm gonna go to PSI English. Let's we'll see how it, it sounds and check the display. I can't tell if that has a light in it or not. So there's there's bar English, there's a PSI English, so here we go. Thirty-one point five psi. So that's that's good. Um, I couldn't hear it that well. I think I might have had my hand over the speaker here. So let's try it one more time. Okay, I'm gonna have to go back to psi English. Let's try it again. See if we can hear it a little bit better. Thirty one point five PSI, great. Alright, so I've pulled out my old tire gauge that I've been using. And uh, this tire gauge is pretty hard to read, especially if it's nighttime. I'm checking at a convenience store, which is where I've been checking my uh, pressure at. So let's give it comparison test here. So we're right at 30. So we read uh, 31.5 on the talking digital gauge here. PSI. 31 PSI. Okay, so I'm not sure which one is exactly accurate. I would have to say I would go with this reading here uh, these things can get stuck especially if they're starting to get dirty so um, what I want to do is find out if there's a light in that LCD there I can't really tell that it's still light out here um, I would like to test this as well at nighttime 
Um, I do want to take this apart also and see what kind of batteries are in here. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and check the rest of my tires here. Here's a look at the Bell & Howell digital tire gauge opened up. I just took off five screws. Uh, screws are pretty small, so you may need like a watch repair Phillips head screwdriver. Um, I just used a knife for that. You can see the speaker. It's got two batteries. Uh, one for the LCD and then one for the for the readout. So to take the battery out, looks like you just push it through. It's locked in front there. So I'm going to push it through. And I'm probably going to need two hands for this. So I'm going to set the camera down just for a second. All right. Yeah, I just pushed it through the, from the front there push it through the back lithium th uh, 3 volt this is a CR2032 or 2032 this sounds really familiar I've used these batteries before I just can't remember what I used them for um, seems like they were like about three bucks at uh, you know, Walmart or Kroger. Um, so that's kind of good to know. I pretty sure, I I wanted to know this because I hope to use this um, gauge long long term. I'm pretty sure that the same battery is going to go in here. Um, I've been looking. I can't find a light bulb. So more than likely that. Um, that uh, LCD does not light up, but uh, I'll try it again. It's getting dark here, so I'm going to go out and try it in just a second here. But uh, that's pretty much what it looks like. So, uh, yeah, let's go try it one more time. Okay, it's dark now. I'm back at the Jeep. This time I'm going to be checking the uh, pressure on the driver side uh, tire. Um, yeah, the LCD does not have a light, but I guess the whole idea is the readout anyway. Uh, let's get the mode here we need, PSI English. So here we go. PSI. 31.5 PSI. Let's try this bar mode here. Okay. Two point one five bar. And then finally, let's try this older tire gauge here. One last time. And what? Let's try it again. You know, if this would. If I didn't have a flash, this would, uh, it's like 29. If I didn't have a flash, it would definitely be hard to see this. So we're just barely pulling 29. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video on the uh, Bell & Howell Digital Tire Gauge, Talking Tire Gauge. I hope it's been helpful. Until next time, have a great day out there and take care.